Alright, um, bro, that conference was so good. Now, I was a little worried after they showed The Last of Us and they started going through this little intermission thing, and, uh, they even did announce that they're gonna be focusing on those four exclusives, which was Last of Us, uh, Ghost of Tsushima, Spider-Man, and Death Stranding, and I thought... Like, they were going to show Last of Us in a mission. Ghost of Tsushima in a mission. Such and such uh, in a mission. Spider Man in a mission and, and uh, Death Stranding in a mission. Or ending. Now, they didn't do it like that. They only had that one intermission after The Last of Us. And The Last of Us was definitely the highlight of the conference. That game looks, looks perfect. It looks like. Like. It doesn't have one flaw to it. Like I, I couldn't, couldn't find one flaw to that game. Animation, perfect. Motion capture, perfect. Voice acting, perfect. Action, perfect. Entertainment, perfect. Bro, that game looks so good. Um. Now, after they showed that, they showed Ghost of Tsushima, and they showed a gameplay to that, and as I said, I'm going, I'm going to, uh, as I said with the Ubisoft thing, I'm going to start playing uh, For Honor again. Now, after watching Ghost of Tsushima, I'm definitely going to start playing For Honor again. Now... That game looked look really good. I mean, I really want to see more gameplay. But from what I've seen, like the art style, especially when they were uh, at the ending, he fought his friend. And there was a bunch of uh, red leaves on the ground. And as they were moving, the red leaves was just picking up. It looked like a uh, like a Japanese like samurai movie. Like it looked like like the scene of one of those like really. Um, heavy art movies got ripped out and put into this game bro that it looked really good and then uh, they showed a game called control and at the beginning of the game I was like oh man they stole the they stole they stole the quantum break from Microsoft <laughs> because she's like stopping time and stuff like that and and I it looked exactly like Quantum Break, and come to find out, it's by Remedy Games, the same people that made Quantum Break. So, bro, like that kind of surprised me, but it ended up. <laughs> I'm sorry. It, it ended up being a uh, a game called Control. It looks very similar to Quantum Break. I mean. That's as much as I can take out of that. Uh, she's stopping time, forward in it, stopping certain parts of time, and then uh, as her time is going regular, Quantum Break, but PlayStation version. It's a game called Control. It looks really good. Uh, Remedy Games, they make really good games, so I'm, I'm pretty excited about that. Um, Death Stranding, still weird, even though we got gameplay. Still weird game. I don't know what it is. I don't know what are you going to be doing. Are you going to be walking around looking at scenery all game? There's one point where he got to like the edge of a cliff or whatever. Uh, because most of the time he was walking and going to an objective, uh, in a, I guess, and carrying like a bunch of cargo and stuff, like hauling it around. And then he got to a cliff. He got to the edge of a cliff, and he pulled out a gun. And I was like, oh, we're about to see some action. And nothing. We seen, like, uh, after that, we started seeing clips of of the, uh, oh, man. Such a brain fart. We started seeing clips of that monster, that invisible monster. And there's, like, multiple invisible monsters. So he's just he used like a baby inside of a inside of a machine, and whatever. That's how he avoids the monsters. Anyways, he got caught. Anyways, and when he got caught, it cut to Death Stranding, and you know, no release date on that. No release date on 
The Last of Us or Ghost of Tsushima. Crazy. Um, Control, I think it got a release date. I think 2019. I think. Anyways. <sighs> I'm sorry. This is just long night. Long E3 day. Now. They did show off also uh, Resident Evil 2 Remastered. Don't know. I didn't play the original Resident Evil 2. The first one I played ever was part 4. Then I went to part 5. And still haven't got around to uh, this new one that just released. But now they got another Resident Evil. And it, it just looks like it's a complete remaster. I want to see whether the gameplay is going to stay the same. Or they're changing up the gameplay. It kind of looks like they're changing it up to a more of a modern type of Resident Evil. You know, back to where it's sort of, uh, sort of like Resident Evil 4. And uh, the people that took over that part of that type of gameplay is uh, is the evil within. So maybe maybe they're starting to see, hey, people really, really still want this. So we're going to bring back that type of style of gameplay. We'll see. It remains to be seen. That game actually launches this year, I believe. So um, I think... I think November or October or something like that. I, I'm not too sure. I gotta look that up. Um, what else did they show? They show. I mean, they just showed big chunks of gameplay, and and besides uh, how Ubisoft did it, which they did it very well, um, I do enjoy how they did it, where they just show a big portion of the game getting played out like uh, like the last of us oh my goodness bro I just keep thinking about the last of us I watched that video like two or three times after the fact so even spider-man spider-man they showcased spider-man right at the end that was the closer and obviously we all know that spider-man is coming out September 7th and uh, the game looks incredible the game looks incredible definitely looks like it's gonna be like the benchmark what you look forward to or what you look towards when you want to build a uh, really good superhero game now uh, that was pretty much it I mean they showed probably a couple of other things but I can't think of it right now and I don't have my notepad I misplaced it somewhere so Anyways, uh, let me know what you guys think. In my honest opinion, I believe Sony won. Sony, Sony's, Sony won. And I, the way that I thought they were going, they didn't. They kind of had that thing where they were showing game after game after game after game. They just had, like, in between, they had, like, uh, it looked like Dreams. The, the game, Dreams. It looked like they used that to do, like, the... The transitions between videos because they'll, they'll like a dude playing a piano and he'll mess up but it's like like 10 second videos you know what I mean so it was really cool that they did something like that and I'm really happy that they didn't they didn't like dwell on something that was like a yawn fence a fest so <sighs> sorry speaking of yawn fest so, as I said, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about this uh, conference. Do you guys think it's the best? Or do you guys think that maybe Ubisoft took it or somebody else or whoever whoever else that you guys think that took it? Let me know in the comments down below. In my opinion, as I said, PS4. Also, if you enjoyed my video, hit the like button and subscribe. I'll see you guys later. Peace.